Let's just step back, enjoy it, and take a deep breath. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited. I have not been able to sleep. We are back and better than ever before because calculus is here. I could not be more excited if I had drank. 50 Red Bulls, a dozen Mountain Dews, and had a combo cereal package of Lucky Charms and Cat'n Crunch. We are starting our calculus journey right now. Okay, we are talking about limits, and some folks would argue with me that limits are not part of calculus. I happen to disagree. I think there are three pillars of calculus, limits, derivatives, and integrals. Uh, so here we go. The concept of a limit is essential to differential calculus. Um, we will need it. It is the basis of everything that we will do. We must know our limits. So to begin our exploration, I would like you to consider the table of values below for f of x equals x squared. This is a very familiar function to you. It is the most basic parabolic function. Uh, but we're going to consider it a bit differently than we um, have ever done before. We are considering it where x is less than 2, but increasing and getting closer and closer to 2. So just taking a look here, we have our value of x. Um, x is 1, we square it, and we get f of x. 1 squared is 1. Uh, then we take a pretty big jump towards 2. We go to 1.9, square it, we get 3.61. 1.99, 3.9601. And on down the line, notice we're getting closer and closer and closer and closer to 2 for our value of x. And what is happening for our value of f of x. Okay, well, let's take a look at that graphically as well. I have graphed our curve f of x equals x squared here in red, and here's the point 1, 1. That corresponds to this point right here, 1, 1. Okay, and I'm going to drag this point and get it closer and closer and closer um, to the value of 2. Right here on the x-axis is 1. I've got this vertical blue line to show you the value of x. And right here is 2. So watch what happens as I drag this point closer and closer. And I'm going to stop for a second. Notice this blue line is moving closer and closer to 2 along the x-axis. This blue line is getting closer and closer and closer to a certain value. You know what it is. It's getting closer, 1.8, 1.99, 1.92. 1 What's happening to my val y value? 3.8, 3.8, 3.91, 3.93, 3.96. 3 as I get, as my x value gets closer and closer to 2, my y value or the value of my function, f of x, gets closer and closer to 4. Oops, didn't want to do that. Uh, grabbed on to this one. Let's see if I can move this way. Um, no, it's not working. Okay, so let me just do this. Okay, all right. So again, it's getting closer and closer and closer to 2, the x value, and f of x gets closer and closer to 4. Again, here's the point right here, 2, 4 in green. Okay, now an important note um, let's go uh, back to the table. The value of the function is f of x. That's what the function equals for a particular value of y. So that's why we ask, what is the value of f of x when x equals 1.9999? 9, I, I think I said four nines. Well, it's this, 3.9996001 f of x is always the value of your function, okay? So I took a snapshot of our little graph there, okay? And notice, again, um, my x value is getting closer and closer to 2, and as it gets closer and closer to 2, the value of my function 
gets closer and closer to 4. So what we say then is that as x approaches 2 from the left, right? So from the left, so here's 2. We're approaching from the left. This blue line is moving closer and closer to 2. f of x approaches 4 from below. This blue line is below the 4, and it's coming up closer and closer to 4. Again, we're approaching 2 from the left, and as that is happening, we are approaching 4 from below. That's what this means right here. Okay, next, I want you to consider the same function, f of x equals x squared, but this time, um, we're going to start at 3, and we're going to work our way down, or we're going we're to work our way less to get closer and closer to 2. Of course, 3 squared is 9. Um, then we make quite a jump closer to 2 at 2.1 square, we get 4.41. 2.01 square, we get 4.0401. And you can see, as we get closer and closer and closer to the value of 2, these, now, these values are decreasing. I hope you realize that. We get closer and closer and closer to 4. So again, starting at 3, 9, if I grab this point, notice my lines here. Okay, I started at 3. My x value is getting closer and closer and closer to 2. What's happening to f of x or my y value? It's getting closer and closer and closer to 4. Okay, so I got real close there, 2.03. I didn't get quite to the 2.01 um, as I did in the table. Okay, so let's go back to the table and we can see as we get really close here, we get really, really close to the value of 4. Okay, so what we then say is, uh, again, here's a snapshot of the graph. And what we say is that as x approaches 2 from the right, okay, so my x value, it's coming from here and it's approaching from the right hand side going towards 2, then f of x, the value of the function, approaches 4 from above. Look at this vertical line. It's above the 4 and it's coming down to get closer and closer to the actual value of the function when x equals 2 and that is 4. Okay, so just a, a quick summary here. Um, here's the table, here's the graph. We say that as x approaches 2 from the left, look at my cursor here, f of x approaches 4 from below. It's moving up. But as x approaches 2 from the right, as it gets closer and closer to 2, as the value of x decreases and decreases, then f of x approaches the um, 4 from above, from above, okay? And here we go. In summary, again, this is just a snapshot of those graphs and the tables. We can now say that as x approaches 2 from either direction, in other words, if it approaches from the left or from the right, f of x approaches a limit of 4. And we write it just like this right here. The limit as x approaches 2, and we don't have to say from the left or from the right, it's from both sides if it looks like that. So the limit as x approaches 2 of the function x squared is equal to 4. Okay, let that soak in, this notation. The limit as x approaches 2 of x squared is equal to 4. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to stop there. I'm right at 10 minutes and we'll pick up uh, where we left off. See you in a sec.